Hello everybody, today we're gonna learn how to make a flash preloader using ActionScript 2.0 So let's get started and let's start to create a new file ActionScript 2.0 Hit OK I'm gonna change the dimension of the stage real fast so you can see it better and also the color let's center it fit in window and let's get this bigger so you can see so first thing we need to do is to rename the first layer and give the name to stroke let's grab a rectangle tool and then just draw a rectangle now double click, let's select stroke and fill and let's change the dimension to 200 on 40. Now it's selected, let's go on the line and the line to center and center. There you go. Now what we need to do is create a new layer and call it preload bar. Now let's go here Let's select only, let's zoom in so you can see better, only the fill. And by hitting Command X, you're gonna cut it. Select this frame on the load bar, la load bar layer and Command Shift V, paste it. So we're gonna have on two different layers fill and stroke. All right, now let's grab the fill and convert it to a symbol. And we're gonna call it load bar, movie clip, registration point on the left, very important. Okay, now let's give a name as load bar. Now let's create a couple of layers and the first one we call text one and the other one action script. On the text, let's get the text tool and let's drop a text right here. Make sure it's dynamic text and is aligned on the right. And also we have to give a variable name to the text and we can call it load text. Okay, let's get into action script. Uh, let's open window actions and let's say uh, bytes underscore loaded equal math dot round open parentheses and this one I read this dot get bytes loaded open close parentheses close parentheses semicolon second line is gonna be bytes uh, underscore total equal to math dot around open parenthesis and this dot get by bytes um total this time open close parenthesis close parenthesis and semicolon let's go back third line is gonna be get percent equal to bytes um, loaded divided bytes total and let's go back on the fourth line we're gonna say this dot load bar the instance name of the load bar 
um, dot underscore um, with equal to get percent times 200 which is the width of our um, load bar. Now let's go with the text and uh, this dot load text variable name it's gonna be equal to mat dot round open parenthesis get percent times a hundred which is the total number um, we're gonna add here like plus and the percent sign semicolon. So we, the flash is gonna display with this um, percent sign. Let's go back on line six, and um, we gonna say if condition uh, bytes underscore loaded. Underscore loaded um, equal equal. Remembering the condition, if you want to put equal, you gotta put two equals. Uh, bytes total close parenthesis open brackets go down close and in the between on line seven we're gonna put go to and and stop we don't know yet where we want to go okay good uh, let's do let's go on frame number two select all the frames and do insert frame select the action script and make insert blank frame because we need a line of code on the second frame and the line of code is very simple and it's gonna be this dot go to and play uh, frame number one now we are not loading anything right so let's make a new layer and call it EMG image let's put on the third frame a blank keyframe and let's import by doing file import to stage let's import an image an image import there we go image imported fit to window and we're gonna have our image it's a pretty big image so it's gonna take you know a while to to load which is good so we can test our loader so now let's come back into the actions and now we know where we want to go because we want to go on the third frame where the image is so we're gonna say go and stop at frame number three and pretty much is done let's test it by hitting command return or um, control test movie of course now we're not gonna see anything because we have to go in view and simulate the download uh, let's set to t1 it's good simulate download and here see our bar going up and the numbers and whenever it's gonna come 100 the image is loaded and this is pretty much it thank you so much for following this tutorial and i hope you enjoyed